What's up, Cigar Junkies? It's your boy, Ash Head, and today we will be smoking and reviewing the Maestro Del Tiempo by Warped on Ash Head TV today. Guys, we got rainy weather, cooler weather, and cigars. So you know what? <coughs> we got football weather. That's right. We've got football weather, and it is finally here. Let's do this. Let's make this hat fit better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cold draw, very sweet and peppery. Not a whole lot on the nose other than just sweet tobacco smell. Hey, let's go ahead and get this baby lit up. And you know what, guys? Let's talk about some football it's no secret that I'm an Auburn fan it's no secret that um, I think that the SEC is the best conference in the entire world there's no secret that I think this warped Lancero is the best Lancero that I've ever smoked. So, right off the get-go, is it nub worthy or not? Nah? It's definitely nub worthy. I've smoked several of these. So if you want to leave the video now, you can, or you could just stick around and talk some football with your boy. So I'm gonna smoke this cigar down well into the first third. I'm gonna tell you about all the greatness of the first third of this cigar, and then we're gonna be back and talk a little football. I'll be right back. Guys, I wanted you guys to see this, and I hope it shows up on the camera good enough, but that's the cellophane that came off of this warped cigar that I got from Black Lion Luxuries. For all your cigar needs. Hey, check out Black Lion Luxuries. Got a great, great website you can order from and all of your cigars get to you in a timely fashion. But here in the first third of this cigar, gosh, we got some hints of pepper, some sweet tobacco, and kind of like a, um, like more like a, a cinnamon, a spicy type cinnamon that I'm tasting on this cigar, and even taste that on the retro hell when I did retro hell off camera with this particular cigar. Now, this cigar has Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan Corojo Sorello, and one other tobacco. I forgot what it was. I'll go to my notes and bring it to you. In the fillers. But through the first third of this cigar, everything has been good. The burn line has been magnificent and I have been smoking the heck out of some Lancero cigars and it has become 
one of my favorite cigars to smoke. But hey, I want to pause for a minute and let's talk about some matchups in the SEC this weekend. Now guys, I did say Lancero, but this, this cigar is actually classified as a long Corona. It's a six and three eighths by 42 ring gauge. Lanceros are traditionally seven inches by 38 ring gauge. So forgive me, but it looks like a Lancero, smokes like a Lancero, smells like a Lancero, tastes like a Lancero. <laughs> So it fooled me. <laughs> Just a little humor, guys. Don't kill me over that. Hey, but SEC football matchups for September 26. We got the number 23 ranked Kentucky versus the number 8 ranked Auburn Tigers at 12 p.m. on the SEC Network. And then we have the number 5 ranked Florida facing the unranked Ole Miss at 12 p.m. on ESPN. And then we have the Mississippi State versus the number six LSU. Okay. At 3.30 p.m. on CBS. And then we have the number four ranked Georgia at Arkansas at 4 p.m on the SS SEC network and then we have the Alabama Crimson Tide at Missouri at 7 p.m. on ESPN and then we got the number 16 ranked Tennessee at South Carolina at 7.30 p.m. on the SEC network and then we have Vanderbilt at the number 10 ranked Texas A&M at 7.30 p.m on the SEC Network alternate channel. Guys, it's time for some football. And like they say in the NFL, are you ready for some football? Guys, I am so ready. So ready for some football that I don't know what to do. I have been waiting and waiting for oh so long. Just starving like mobbing for a Cool J song. <laughs> hey, I've been waiting for some football, guys. I've been definitely waiting. So we got some football finally. And here, as I um, go into the second third of this cigar, um, things have just smoothed out that um, cinnamon um, that cinnamon spice that I was getting, the spice has died down, but the cinnamonness has stayed there, as well as that sweet, fruity flavor of tobacco is present. Guys, I am thoroughly enjoying this cigar. I always enjoy this cigar every time I smoke it. Like I said in the beginning, this cigar is nub worthy. Go order you some of these cigars go to your local brick and mortar and find this cigar because it is great i am going to go smoke this cigar down some more then i'm going to come back and then i'm going to tell you my picks for this weekend in football who's going to win what game Guys, okay, here are my picks for week one of the SEC football conference. I got I got Auburn over Kentucky. Oh, I almost said Kentucky over Auburn Law. Oh, forgive me. I got Auburn over Kentucky. Um, I'm going to give a score prediction. Score prediction, 31-14. 31-14 score prediction. Auburn 31 14. All right, I got Florida Ole Miss. This is going to be a blowout. Blowout. It's going to be like 42 to 7. Um, I got Mississippi State LSU. Another blowout. This is going to be about, I'm going to say, not a big blowout. 21 6. 
Um, Georgia, Arkansas. Georgia, 27-14. Um, Alabama, Missouri. This is going to be a high scoring game on both parts. So I'm going to say 42. Alabama, 27, Missouri. Um, Tennessee, South Carolina. This one is going to be a close one. Give me South Carolina, 14, Tennessee, 12. Vanderbilt, Texas A&M. Upset of the, this upset of the SEC. This is going to be the upset game of the SEC right here. Give me Vanderbilt, 26. Give me Texas A&M, 21. My picks, my scores, we're going to smoke this down to the final third. I'll be right back. And guys, there you have it. My picks for the first week in SEC football. Guys, my pick for the most nub worthiest cigar that I have smoked this year and my newly found favorite cigar of all times. And I like to give a big shout out to my cousin, wide receiver at the University of Auburn, his senior year. Hey guys, if you get a chance to watch the Auburn game, look for number 12, Eli Stove. The hot stove is gonna be burning this season. And I wanna highlight an athlete to look out for by the name of Jeremiah Franklin. Right after I give my ash head out, then you guys will see a few highlights of him shining on the football field. Ashhead out. Thank <laughs> you.